All right, we're here for a butterfly update in our beautiful butterfly room. It's the end of April. We're just gonna go on in. Wally's been checking on a little butterfly who hatched the other day. Hey, Wally. Who did not do so good. He didn't do his exercises. Oh, here he is. Yeah, you can see his wings. He's trying to do his exercises, but his wings aren't really lining up. He didn't, I don't know if they just didn't form all the way or what happened, but Wally's been checking on him diligently. He's looking out. He got some nice butterfly plants here for the food. So we've got this guy over here who hatched this morning. Wasn't doing his butterfly exercises as well as he should have been. But he's doing okay. But really I want to check and see where my queen went. I have a queen butterfly, but hey my guy. I'm trying to see if I can get this guy to Oh yeah, there we go. Can you fly it? Is he hot everybody? Okay, we're still working on our wings. What I like to do is get them into the sun a little bit. Help them get some food on these nice butterfly plants. There we go. So then it's kind of a two for one. Then they eat a little bit, and then they sit in the sun a little bit. Okay, well, there's a queen around here somewhere. Saw him this morning. Wally's still looking out, guarding. Excellent. All right, the last time I saw a queen, it was going on here. I don't know where it went. In the meantime, we still have this caterpillar who's here. I have a guy down here that I think died. I'm not sure what happened to him. It's almost like there's not any more life left in him. I found him. Most of my other caterpillars are pretty much treated into their chrysalises. We got one chrysalis here. We've got one hanging here, another one here. There's one that just formed on the other side of this bucket yesterday. And then there's this guy, can you see him? Over here. So one, two, three, four. There's a guy on here, this is five. Let's see, I don't know if there's a guy on here. Nope, no guy on here. This guy hatched today. So we can put this plant down here. A little rehab zone. This is where we have all of our replants. Some of these are, that are in the smaller buckets are from seedlings. Those are ones that I started. Some of them are obviously from the nursery. But what's great is when I wash off the table with the hose, it pushes all of the dirt, caterpillar poop and whatnot. Oh, hey, look, there's a guy here. I wonder if that's our queen from earlier. Interesting, I didn't see, he. this one wasn't here a little while ago. This might be the queen. Anyways, when I wash off the plant, the tables here, what's great is it goes off the back, comes down here, water pools down here a little bit, which, to be honest with you, the first three times I did this was not ideal because a butterfly was trying to learn to fly, fell, got stuck in the water, and ultimately didn't make it. I've only so far had two of them, but I do cut little slits in here just to help make sure there is some drainage but it helps water the plants from the bottom up so they start regrowing for our next round of caterpillars but Wally's still gonna hang out here and guard the door for us watch all the butterflies we got chrysalis here maybe we should name this guy we'll name him Bert Bert seems like a good name for him he's probably not gonna fly but he'll still hang out in here we got another guy up here. Oh, here we go. Now that we're in the sun, we're making more progress. Yeah. So my next project is I'm going to be... I found these cool candlesticks at the thrift store. And they're aluminum. So I think they're going to hold up all right outside. But they've got like nice little frogs and stuff in them. I really like them, but truthfully I probably won't put them on my table. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them instead of these margarita glasses to create kind of a little, uh, what, I don't know, crisscrossy shape, if you will. So that way all of our chrysalises that aren't in safe places that need to be transplanted or translocated, they have a safe spot. These are aluminum, so they're nice and heavy, and it'll take up less counter space here than my big box, and then I can actually put my box to good use. So, updates to come. Thanks for watching.